Okay, so I'd like to say a little bit about attention in the brain. Now we've, in class, we've done demonstrations about attention, how it's limited and so on, but let's make a connection to the brain systems we've been learning about. Here you see a diagram that should look familiar, the left hemisphere. And we've got our three sensory areas indicated here, the visual area back here, the uh, hearing area, and the touch area here. And we've got these sensory regions connected up to their respective sensory organs. So we have sound entering the ears and nerves in the ear we send electrical signals up to that part of the brain. The surface of the skin is covered with sensory receptors and when we touch anything electrical signals race up to this part of the brain. When light enters the eye, strikes the retina, electrical signals carried to the back part of the brain. Remember here was our thalamus, we pulled it outside really, it's deep in the brain, pulled it out here so we can see the synapses. And recall, just to recap, that what all these sensory organs are doing is transforming some physical stimulus into electrical signals, the language of the brain. Now, what about these attention systems? Well, they're located in the frontal areas, but also parietal, but we'll focus on just the, uh, the, the frontal lobe system. Um, attention, we know, is something that we can steer. Right, so there's a whole lot of information out there in the world that can impinge on our sensory systems and we just cannot process it all, all at once. So attention is a system to help us uh, select out some of that information for further processing. And one way to begin to think about this is to see how the attention system might interact with the sensory systems that we have shown here. So let's say this brain here, this person, is looking at some object in the environment, right? So the eyes would be directed at that object and they are in fact paying attention to what they see. The idea here is is that the uh, attention systems are signaling the visual systems to give, whoops I want an arrow here, the attention systems are signaling the visual systems to give extra processing to the visual aspect of the world. So if they're paying attention to what they see, then the frontal lobe system here, the cells here, send electrical signals back to the uh, visual system so as to enhance the processing of the visual aspect of what it is uh, that they're looking at in the environment. But suppose the person is looking at that object, but then there's a sound in the environment they might not move their eyes so the visual system is still sort of getting information about the object but they might change their attention to what they hear so the attention system can shift which sensory system gets preferred processing right so initially they were paying attention to what they were seeing but now some sound has happened while they didn't move their eyes they covertly shifted their attention to what it is that they're hearing. And so that's this idea then of a, of a limited attention system in the sense that, and, and it can be steered, we can shift our attention to different sensory domains from, from sight to hearing even though we might not move our eyes. Or we can shift our attention from sight to touch. Maybe something crawled on our foot or something while we were looking at something in the environment. We might not move our eyes, but we might shift our attention uh, to the stimulus on our skin. Maybe it's a bug crawling up our leg or whatever. So the attention system is a system that can selectively uh, sort of decide which sensory systems are going to get preferred processing. When the attention system is interacting with the sensory system, we are, are processing that information uh, more thoroughly and it will enter into our working memory and will be conscious of what it is that we are, are uh, attending to. Now one last thing about the attention system you might be thinking well can't you know can't we uh, pay attention to you know what we see and what we're feeling and what we're hearing all at the same time yes there is you know we have a, a unified experience and we we can be looking at something and hearing it maybe a person is talking right so you're seeing them and they're talking and maybe they're shaking your hand you you can be processing all of that at once but the idea here is though is that we can also still shift attention so we can be apparently 
listening to somebody uh, speak in front of us, but we're really listening to another conversation somewhere else in the room, right? That would be a covert shift of attention. So we're not actually paying attention to what they're saying. We're paying attention to what somebody else is saying in the room. And again, the idea then is that these attention systems, they can monitor and they can, they can um, help us uh, monitor multiple sensory systems at the same time. But for, for extra processing, there's a limitation. If I'm going to really pay attention to what somebody else in the room is saying, I'm going to lose the ability to attend to what the person right in front of me is saying, and I won't be as, as vigilant. I won't be able to detect as many other things in other sensory domains if I'm focusing on some conversation in the room. That's the nature of the limited aspect of, uh, of attention.